Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweet and Atria. In this tutorial, I'm going to be sharing tips on how you can easily retouch faster full photos or full body portraits within Photoshop. And I'll be sharing some tips that you can use to make your workflow of skin retouching a little bit faster. So, if I told you to do event photography, this can be a tutorial that is going to help you retouch faster or quicker. So, the very first thing you have to do before you take the images into Photoshop is always make sure that you correct the light and contrast issues so when you correct that it means that when you import the images into photoshop you're going to be having only the stress or the work to only do a skin retouching work on the photos so always make sure that you only do or you first of all do the retouch, the color processing or the color grading or even correcting the lighting issues concerning or regarding the image itself so that when it comes to Photoshop, you only have to do the Photoshop related work like skin retouching and maybe the eye and teeth whitening. So let me share some tips that you can use to retouch faster such kinds of images. So this shouldn't take so so much time and you need to make your retouching workflow a little bit faster. When it comes to Photoshop, you always have to ensure that you have actions. Actions are more of shortcuts that are going to enable you retouch your images faster. So as soon as you play the action, it is going to automatically create for you the layers that you need for your retouching process. So, if at all you would prefer to get my actions, I would recommend that you check the links in the description of this video so that you can support the channel by purchasing or buying my retouching essentials pack actions. And you can see that you are going to be getting the actions that I prefer to use for skin retouching. And when you're done doing that, import the actions by simply coming to window and make sure that the action, the action is checked right here. And after that, it's going to open up this action window and how to import, import them. Simply click on this little bugger or these lines, the bugger tool and left click on it and simply come to import actions or load actions right here. And you'll have the actions after unzipping them into your photoshop so how to retouch faster which is the most important important emphasis for today's tutorial is always make sure that you know the bit depth of the image so that you can play the right frequency separation action for the image if at all you want the best results from your retouching workflow so i'm just going to come right here and play since i have 16 it means that my image is going to be a 16 bit image just going to come to the actions and simply play my 16 bit action so usually for full body images, I prefer to use, so depending on the image quality that you use or the details within the image. So for such images, I prefer to use a radius of 5 pixels for my frequency separation. So depending on the megapixel count on your, or the sensor size of your camera, your images may be a little bit sharper, meaning you may have to use a slightly higher radius. But for me, I use a 20 megapixel camera. That is the Canon 6D. So I use, or I have always tried to use this on full body or half body portrait. So I'm just going to be using a radius of 5 pixels. And I'm just going to play. Oh, hit OK. And that is going to create for me the actions for retouching or frequency separation. So I, I don't have to manually go through the process of separating the frequencies of this very image. So I'm just going to come and you can see it has created for me these layers automatically so basically how i do this i simply delete the black and white layer and turn off the texture layer and i'm just going to come to the low frequency layer and simply come to the brushes and select the missile brush tool so you always have to set the missile brush tool once and you don't have to go through the trouble of trying to set it but if at all you have not set yours i'm just going to go through my missile brush tool settings quickly so i'm just going to make sure the hardness is zero and i make sure the brush is clean clean brush is selected and you can see that we have this trans transparent square right here and make sure i clean the brush after each other stroke is selected i prefer weight of nine load of 75 mix at 90 and the flow of 100 percent and the measure sample always is not checked so after turning off the high frequency layer i simply come and deal with the colors so for full body images, basically what I do, I retouch them for, at a distance and I only use the mixer brush tool. So how I basically do this, I make sure the brush is slightly smaller and I'm just going to 
mix or blend the transitions within the colors in those specific areas i'm just going to come and mix and you can see for full body images you don't have to do so much work so i'm just going to do this so if at all you have wedding photos to work on you could take just around a minute or two to fully retouch an image so i'm just going to do this and you can see this area has been uh, worked on already so i'm just going to go straight to the models first and i'll just zoom in by using ctrl or command plus on the keyboard reduce on the size of the brush and simply mix the transitions so you mix colors that are looking alike so that you can still keep or maintain the original shape uh, of the model's face or you keep the contrast values or changes regarding how light is falling on the model's skin or the face so you, you can see that this really gets the job faster and what if i told you that we are almost uh, done uh, with the retouching for this very image or working on the skin tone transition so i'm just going to come and i turn on the high frequency layer and you can see the before and after for just the retouching and that was very fast and very convenient so if i told you have a couple of images you can keep on playing the action and you get the mr brush tool and blend the transitions within the skin so after retouching or blending the transitions within the skin color just come the high frequency and get the clone stamp tool you can now deal with the blemishes within the image so just come with the clone stamp tool and simply sample by holding an option or alternate key on the keyboard and left clicking to copy a clean area and simply releasing the alternate key on the keyboard and simply clicking over the blemish that i want to clean up or eliminate from uh, the model skin so you just do that and you can say now we are done retouching i can say that we are done retouching so i'm just going to remove these remaining blemishes and they're going to be uh, good to go so we are now done retouching so another thing that you can do always make sure that you do the final processes later on after doing the skin retouching so right now we are done retouching the images so if i told you have around 50 images to work on you just follow the same workflow and retouch all of them yeah and after retouching all the Im images the next thing that you want to do is coming through and saving them so i have an action or i have an action that i tend to use to export or save images and i already made a tutorial for how you can create your export action within photoshop so i simply come and make sure the image is selected so i just come and click on the image and simply play the action and it's going to automatically save the image into the folder so if at all you're interested in that video i'm just going to be linking it right above here so after you have retired the images just come and do your eye whitening by simply coming right here you can as well play my eye whitening action right here and simply paint in the eyes or alternatively if you, told you don't have the action just come to the hue and saturation and simply desaturate around negative 70 press ctrl command i on the keyboard to invert that layer mask and come under the brushes get the brush and make sure the soft round brush tool is selected and the hardness at zero percent the mode is normal passing the flat hundred percent and now make sure white is on the foreground so just simply use x on the keyboard and if at all you have any other color you can simply left click on these two small boxes and make sure white is on top by using x on the keyboard or you can use this arrow so make sure white is on top zoom into the eyes to do the eye cleaning work so i'm just going to zoom in and now paint using remember this brush is basically this desaturating the colors that were existing within the white area of the eye so you can do this so you always whiten the eyes before exporting your images that's what i was meant to say so now when you're done doing everything and the retouching you can simply come the action for saving or exporting the image and play it and the image is going to be saved in that very folder so this is how you can retouch your images faster within photoshop if at all you do wedding or event photography or if at all you have a number of full body portraits to work on within photoshop so this is it for this tutorial and if i told you i've loved this don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel if i told you i've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more tutorials on this channel don't forget to keep practicing and also 
keep creating